What is going on, YouTubers? Abdurin Sound here from AndroidTechBlackSpot.com. Right now, I'll be showing you how to flash your first Jelly Bean My UI ROM. Most people say MIUI, MIUI, whatever. It's called My UI. UI as a, your whatever you see. You can change your UI. I, I know in technical language it's called UI. I cannot explain you easy way. But to flash this, you are going to go ahead and turn off your phone. Once that turned off, you're going to press power up or power volume up and home button. This is for AT&T. First of all, you're gonna let go of the power. Second and you will go let go other two buttons this is only for AT&T and for other uh, other other variants I will have the link in description I'm sorry it's about 3 30 in the morning so if anything please forgive me let's go ahead and get to the process first of all we're going to go in mount and just first of all we're gonna go back up back up to internal that's a great idea I have already done it so if you mess up you can always go back to your setup mount and restore or mount and storage then format system right there then scroll down again once my camera focuses is that good enough it's just like doing it right now okay I'm on data format data that's done for my cache that's done press back button go to advance wipe delve cache press back wipe data factory reset this is same thing as formatting data and formatting system wipe cache same thing as formatting cache now I know you guys are smart so you're gonna tell me in the bottom below somewhere around there that you don't have to wipe three times please don't argue with me and just do it this is just to make it easy for you guys now we're gonna go into install Z from SD card this is your external your internal I have it in my internal SD card I'll go there find where you stored it I'll go there in here Thank you, Tiz, for making this ROM available for us AT&T users. I don't know who made it for T-Mobile. I think T-Mobile still gonna have to wait, but other providers have that ready, and it will start flashing. And if you get uh, installation aborted right here, that means you are going to have to go ahead and update your clock on my recovery as you can see I'm running 5.8.45 so if you wanna update your clock on recovery to the latest go ahead and click in description I'll have a link on how to install latest clock on my recovery or how to upgrade it through a rooted phone which has clock on my recovery already or TWRP you can have either and this is only f that only works for the TNT Galaxy S3. Now, once that done, press back button, press power, and your phone will reboot. It will take time to boot 
and I think this is the most themed custom ROM ever because all the Asian people theme this ROM and there are so many different themes, so many creative themes yes there are themes for AOKB and CM9 but the themes you will find in this ROM they are just not comparable to CM9 and AOKP. You haven't seen nothing if you're talking about CM9 and AOKP steam and comparing to this ROM. So I'll wait until it boots up to let you know that it does work. And then in my next video, I will have a full review of my UI Jelly Bean. And there you go, it's booted up. I'll have to set time for central, but that's it. Go ahead and subscribe. Check out my website, andertechblackspot.com. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to Abdur Sound, and I'll see you in the next video.